the civilian. Through public records requests, News 13 has received video of the altercation on March 2nd. News 13's Alex Thorson guides us through the video so you can decide what happened yeah. that night. The incident on March 2nd left two men without jobs and one man, Corporal Scott Womack, facing criminal charges. Womack is charged with aggravated assault with a firearm and battery for allegedly striking the victim and placing a gun to his head, threatening to kill him. However, his attorney says his client was acting in self-defense. News 13 has obtained the video evidence of the altercation that night. It all began when Womack and Panama City Sergeant John Ray found themselves arguing with others outside of rocket lanes in Panama City Beach. The video shows Womack arguing with the victim, then thrusting the gun at the victim's head. You can see the gun as he draws it back down to his side here. Under Florida law, victims of violent crimes cannot be identified, so we blurred the identity of the victim in order to comply with the law. The video then shows Womack with his gun in his holster, and now just seconds later, charging towards the victim again. That's where the video ends, and months of legal troubles began for this off-duty officer. So why ain't he in fucking jail? City Beach, Alex Thorson. So is he in fucking jail right now? Womack and Ray both resigned from their agencies during the investigation. We reached out to Womack's attorney yesterday, and he declined to comment on the case. If the court finds that Womack acted in self-defense, the charges will be dropped. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement continuing to investigate the events that occurred during the active shooter yeah, situation fucking cover up. in Panama City. That was on Tuesday. Fucking dumb lying the idiot motherfucker. The suspect, 49-year-old Kevin Robert Holroyd, was found dead. Now the investigation is Bullshit. before the Department of Law Enforcement. Found the dead. Officials say in active shooter situations that result in the injury or death of a suspect, agencies will often hand the case over for further investigation. The FDLE cannot share the specifics of Tuesday's case, but they say they are working to gather unbiased information. The investigation will be conducted like any other criminal investigation. Once the probe is complete, it will be reviewed by the state attorney's office to determine if the shooting from law enforcement was yes, look at all the protections. The circumstances. We go in, we gather all the facts. We document those facts. In Troy Roper, FDLE, 14th Judicial the Circuit, in charge. We don't Jackson County. Or we don't rule shooting is justified or not. Then that's, what the fuck are you there time. for, you fucking clown? Roper says in these situations, you don't rule whether it's justified, you ain't fucking needed. Their officers need to be put you, ain't, on you ain't motherfucking leave. needed. The process of hardening security on Bay District school campuses is happening sooner. See, see, see how fucking cops, they got all kinds of protections that we regular citizens ain't got. I can guarantee you, any, any, any person accused of pointing a gun at somebody, that's 10 years in prison, okay? I bet you ain't in fucking jail right now. I bet you he's out on bail. So, uh, why don't they put, why don't they put the motherfucker in jail? I bet you he's probably drunk at the time, too, or on drugs or something like that. See, they don't mention that fucking part. See, another thing, too, is, is, uh, that's under 119 of the Florida statutes. That's public records. Go, go into a cop shop and say, I want, I want to look at these fucking records here. Man, they'll look at all kinds of fucking excuses to have you arrested, disorderly conduct, dis disturbing the peace, bullshit, anything they can. Because I'll tell you what, I've gone down to the Panama City idiot fucking clown department and I tried to get actual phone conversations. I couldn't get them motherfuckers. They gave me all kinds of fucking excuses. So, uh... Uh, and and notice notice how they're demonizing this person. From what I understand, they say that he was a family man, and that he had kids in school. And I, I'll bet you it had to do something like he didn't like what they were fucking. He probably didn't like what they were fucking teaching in school. The guy's name was Kenneth, Kenneth Thompson, and uh, I think it's one called Heather Howell, if I'm not correct. Or, or wearing or whatever the heck it is, okay? So the thing is, this is, is, uh, uh, honestly believe, see, I created something called a PDF authorized in prosecution that anybody, it's called spoilation. I found out it's a term called spoilation. When a cop doesn't include the accused side, that's spoilation. That means, in other words, 
the case is automatically thrown out, and the cop is charged criminally under nine nine eighteen thirteen. The Florida statutes is a five motherfucking years in prison when them motherfuckers do that fucking shit. But, but you see, cops are protected a lot of ways. They, they don't go to jail like you and me. And if it's protective custody, they're basically hidden. Oh, oh, we can't show them. Hey, the guy's over there in, in, in fucking Hawaii, not nowhere in the States, in fucking high, Hawaii, fucking the natives over there. And they tell them, look here, just don't come back here no more. They got fucking cop, cop unions that protect them. Uh, the cops unions, they don't care if they don't care if the bail's a million dollars. All the cops get together secretly and pay a couple of dollars. If you got 500,000 cops and the bail's a million dollars, all each one's got to do is pitch in two dollars. See, see, now I'm not against cops. But they are, they are the biggest fucking criminal organization I have found out. Here in Panama City, Florida, I tried my damnest for over 10 years. To get rid of these fucking American terrorists, boom car punks. But you see, when only cops can decide who the fucking terrorists are, we are fucked. Them boom cars, sheriff's department could re could arrest them under uh, 3015 in the Florida statutes. Um, they can even uh, force deputize citizens to help them. And if the citizen refuses, they can put them in jail for a year. 87703 of the Florida statutes is the Panama City idiot fucking clown uh, of where uh, of where uh, they're su supposed to be uh, taking care of these boom cars. Director saw these complaints for the first time this week. Oh yeah, these News 13 heard about a letter from the downtown Panama City Business Alliance. In that letter, members requested the termination of the DIB's executive director, Derek Freeman, along with the current office staff. News 13 obtains the letter from a public records request. Have you seen those papers? Nope. I've heard about it, but I haven't seen it. We then showed Freeman a copy of the letter. Neglect of the board and staff. He says the letter felt like an employee review. You stupid I fucks. don't work for them. If there's issues... Derek with, Freeman? Uh, with direction the board You're a take fuck it off, man. You got rid of Friday Fest? They should have taken it up with the board. Within the letter, there are several claims that the board is not doing a fit job. A few claims... You're a bunch of fuck offs. ...not being open when advertised. Social media presence being minimal. Meeting minutes being missed. And the board spending 60% of the annual budget on salaries and benefits. That's right. Freeman read through these accusations. You're a bunch of fuck-offs. That's all the false. fuck you are. Did you say false statements? There are several false statements. Bullshit. Freeman says you lying, motherfucker. The board is showing him support. You lying, and motherfucker, you. Almost every single board member has come forward and said, don't worry about this. We have your back. We, you have our Yeah, 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 you'll, you'll make up lies. Myers News 13. We reached out to members of the downtown Palma City Business Alliance, and they declined to comment. You can read the letter for yourself on our website, mypanhandle.com. Okay, first of all, let's talk about the downtown improvement fuck-off board, okay? Hmm. I went to which, on Thursday, was it, the, the last weekend of the month is supposed to be uh, a bullshit thing downtown. They used to have Friday Fest. Everybody knew about Friday Fest. Thousands of people w would come down. Man, the last time I went down there, there was uh, uh, only one band, and there was only there was uh, uh, iHeart Radio there. It was the sorriest fucking thing I've ever seen, man. Not only that, I suggested them fuck offs. I said to them, "Look here." I can tell you the reason, a good reason, possibly, of where uh, people are moving out, not staying. I said, all you got to do is declare the mission as a fucking nuisance and force them to, to open up all their bathrooms. They have about 10 bathrooms there at the Panama City idiot fucking mission there. Put Thurman Chambers in fucking jail. Uh, they, they, uh, they, they have a day room there. They force uh, the homeless people that come in town to uh, 
to, to, to roam all over the place. They have no place to go or anything like that. And, uh, and I understand that sorry fuck Thurman Chambers gets about uh, $70,000 a year for all he can fucking steal and uh, anything he can plunder while he's fucking there. That, all they gotta do? Oh, but the cops are goddamn fucking pussies when it comes to the, to, to the Mission Corporation. Oh, we might get fucking sued. But they have no mercy on street people sleeping in the park or something like that. Where if they had the fucking day center open, I even went so far one time that they're going to try to... Uh, Frank McKeith, an idiot fucking clown, used to be with the Bay County Sheriff's Department. Uh, I, uh, uh... They were going to take and put a, a so-called bullshit homeless resource center right next to the fucking Bay County Jail. I said, nah, I, I got to speak up. So I called, there's, uh, I think there's this elementary school called Tommy Sims out there on Star Avenue, and there's another elementary school, two of them there. And I, and, and I hated doing this, but I said, man, I don't know if you want homeless people walking down the street. They, they could possibly harm the kids, the KID dollar signs. So, uh, I can't say, I can't say I did it, but I firmly think I probably had something to do with, uh, them not putting that, that homeless resource center, them not, them not putting it out there where the homeless people would never, ever get out of jail or get out of that area for the rest of their life because they would get out of jail then they would go over to the homeless resource center, bullshit resource center, and then they'd take and fucking uh, uh, violate them, jail them, and they'd never get out for the rest of their fucking life. So what I did, I believe all of us were giving them out. I'm far from perfect. I got my flaws, but when I see things that are far worse than my flaws, I believe... It is a sin for me to keep my mouth shut. And that's what most people do. They go, oh, well, that might be inconvenient or something like that. That might uh, uh, put, put, me in a, uh, put me out where I'm, everything's on as convenient. Oh, I might risk or something like that. Oh, uh, it's too controversial. Uh, uh, I, I, so, so should they make all these fucking excuses? Me, uh, I've always, anytime I've ever uh, seen anything that was far worse than my sins, I tried to get something done about, uh, uh, I went to two anti-violence government meetings in uh, 2016, and uh, I was uh, kicked out of both of them.